Okay, being on black folks, and yes, different sizes, and basically you can't, you'd have to be, uh, you got to be making a 360 degree model, okay? But would give you an idea of what space must look like 360 degrees. Now, you can go ahead and go to what I showed you on NASA stuff, and you can go to Worldwide Telescope, you can go to all kinds of software things, okay? Now, as I just drag this up a little bit, you get a little bit of an idea of how massive, and then you can get somewhat of an idea of what something maybe 360 would look like if you drag down just about like, because no matter what, that bottom lower layer pretty much matches up. Now, you don't get 360 because you're only seeing from A and B, okay? Now, we know that this is very interesting, this Y, okay? And then it could be possibly actual I'm pretty much in the thinking that this is probably what's, but there's so many stars that the idea, but this could be what is the conglomerate of everything at the same time, because everything, all this stuff is always shining down on Earth, folks, all of it, 360 degrees around a ball, fishbowl, okay? So we know that we have the light propagation at the uh, webcams to be able to see all the action at the volcanoes in Japan. You can go around and look at all webcams at just about any volcano in the world pretty much if you look the internet enough. I let it so that you always do it yourself so that you don't think that I'm fake baking you and selling you something. I'm not trying to sell you anything. I'm showing you truth and data and shots and photos. Okay, now these are recent and then you can get an idea that remember this isn't 360 degrees. This is half in half, two quarter sections of 360, folks. You got an A view ahead and a B, okay? And then basically you would have to position yourself over here. And yes, we're in the more somewhat should be in the safer area. Now we can, then you can square up and get an idea from looking at like, okay? And then you can zoom in and let's take a look and see what's going on around Earth and see what we got now. And as you notice, they have cropped off the top up here where we ended up seeing what I found earlier this week. Okay. And then we still have the interesting that moves a lot right here that's up by Mars. Okay. And there's a shot of Earth. And remember that they we did have a shot that showed us Uranus. Okay. Out the back side towards the dark side because we know the sun is in the supergiants and it's over to the left gets shaded out by the solar panel okay and that's where it gets its energy I'm sure it's got uh, redundancy for power I think that's what's the secret for any any country satellites that are up there they're gonna have way more than one way to get power no matter what from light and then a backup emergency source in case they need to rescue it and get it home because satellites are expensive to make and so forth and they always want it. And if you've seen, I've showed you where they have rescued satellites, put them in space shuttles and brought them back home and refixed them and sold them. Okay. So very interesting. Let's see what else we got. Now, these are the most recent, 24th. Okay. But then we got layers of photos. So on today's shot, realize how close to the sun this shot is. Okay and that object is, okay, and then also what we showed you, uh, and what are we on, B, we are on a head, yeah, and then so did they airbrush or get a different shot up from what my earlier video today, now I'm not sure, but it sure looks like they gave us a new photo on Artis, okay, you know, so, you know, yeah, so it's always interesting to look at all the photos because I don't see what we were seeing earlier, do you? And I didn't superimpose nothing. So anyway, maybe they just refresh, and that's fine. That's cool too, okay? And that's on a head. So let's go look. Okay, so no, no matter what, I'm not saying that it's not Venus, but check out from B, okay? So we see this from B, and we'll look at the other shots. I can, I can go to those real fast. So Venus is very bright right now, okay? So that shot that I just showed you, you can just scroll back in the video, 
And yes, my videos are going to play rough. You're going to have to play with them and take and be patient on maybe some people's players because they don't want you to listen to truthful information. Or me, you making your own mind up to looking at pictures and realizing that it's actual data and fact and not people blowing smoke up your ass. And Bino's just seeing it the way. And I always leave it for yours interpretation and give me well, what do you think? You see? Now the sun, and you were seeing that shot. Now you see the solar panel blocks out the sun in the well. And you see how big and bright Venus is right now, okay? So then for the hell of it, we're just going to zoom in. So then we just zoom in. I never play with pictures. I just zoom in. Okay, zoom in, zoom out. And the ones that do do the overcat, they, more than likely, they are finding objects that are in space, okay? Now we see the black, dark stuff that's out there, okay? And I didn't mean to shudder that fast. Okay, so we're looking around by Earth. And there you got Venus. So interesting darkness behind Venus, putting out a hell of a shadow on the back contrast, okay? Something is, okay? And it's probably Venus, and it's glowing so big and bright, okay? Now, remember, we got layers and shades. So the idea that when we show you the A shots, you get a lot of the heat idea of all the supergiant sun and light and so forth. And then I would figure more than likely that it must be Mars would be the biggest thing you see there. More than likely that's Mars. Can't be factual, but now they should have it down to Nat's ass. It would be nice if they started to put... You know, but it, it looks pretty factual. That must be Mars there, you would think. It doesn't really matter. It's somewhere in that shot, okay? But we know that that's Venus, and Venus is very bright right now because of all the CME action from the sun and the supergiants. So, hang on. So layers and layers and layers, and remember, out the back door, darkness to our backside, and more than likely that's the dark side of Venus there because it's blocking light from the supergiants and so forth and so on, but a lot of stuff seems to be, and remember, there's layers and colors, so some things could be throwing us off on factuality, okay? But you do see the bright and dark side of planets, stars, because of the glow, and then the back side, okay? So shadows into space so what's in the dark back door of earth right now okay uranus and that stuff so forth we know that that stuff's back there i.e the dark back door all space let your imagination be as large as hell because it is okay it's large as hell behind us the darkness behind because the sun's facing us out here and bright on this side dark on the back side there's tons of stuff out there so you know to the left of an a head shot this stuff is blinging down on earth no matter what because this is left so when you're looking at a anything with a ahead earth is over to the left no matter what anything left of this okay and we know pretty much we're not up here okay so but anything lower than this that i'm going across with my curve right now and to the left earth is somewhere there so let's blow up this shot so we're left of the sun and the a head shot and we know that earth is somewhere anywhere in that vast area that I showed you and this is a blow up of and this is why I have the theory of way more than one big bang and basically what we see with the Hubble telescope already shows that the idea that there's planets uh, making themselves right now there's universes banging into each other there's all kinds of stuff they found out there okay because they sell see hell farther out than what Soho here does so this is an interesting something in time of history of everything and just history because the idea that something is a grouping no matter what and there was way more than one huge big bang okay big bangs big bangs big bangs and yeah i'm sure there's one that's been bigger than all of them but big bangs big bangs big bangs and there's big bangs going on out there just look at any of the uh uh nasa's all those telescopes that we've got out there okay and basically very interesting to see all of these beautiful shots that we get from Soho because that is the sun in the supergiants as you can see the big spread out remember it takes just 11 and just a little bit under 10 point something Jupiters to make the size of the sun so you know the supergiants as we vastly go you see all this brightness up there and as we come down brightness there brightness there brightness there brightness there you know there's way more 
than just the sun out there, and it's the super giants, and the, there's 101, including the sun, and a lot more probably of the brightest, because there's over 200 stars in to be known in, and there's 100 as bright or brighter than the sun in the super giants, okay? And there's probably way more than that. So, way more proof right here in this shot if you just look and use your brain and you come down through the brightness that you see, the brightness there, brightness there, 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 all the way down the line through this shot, and I'll back it out, and how vast and huge these areas, these shots are come from, you realize and know that there is way more than just the flipping sun up there. There is lots of stuff, and things hit the sun. We've already seen stuff hit the sun. Plenty of videos on mine that show stuff hit the sun, okay? And we are but a gnat's ass to the sun. And then I can go ahead and blow this backside B shot up to the size and make people realize. And so I think anybody that's been watching the videos of recent and so forth and so on can get a good idea that knowing that there's way more than just the sun up there in space. Okay? Super giant suns, ladies and gentlemen. Four to 78 times the size of the sun is there's 100 of them. Okay? And the sun is in the super giant's main sequence. And we are hiding out in a nice, basically safe area. Okay, now this guy, basically, if you've ever been out with a camera before, but we need to match up and you need to take snapshots, folks, and we'll figure out who's cake bake and what or if it's cake bake. Because it somewhat looks like cake bake. I mean, you can watch with your own eyes and see this footage, but there's a couple new videos out. One's got where somebody's climbing on a mountain and they don't know if somebody's played with, say, hey, I got some mountain footage and we can, or, you know, they climbed maybe some peak down in Antarctica or something like that. So there's this that we are seeing, which basically, yeah, it could be anybody that's got footage from what looks like matches up to be down in Antarctica, okay? But there's tons of scientists all over the place and the, anybody could be making a spoof video, okay? Now, yeah, if you're cold and outside and you're videotaping and then it's trying to smuggle it out, the people are trying to make it seem like that they don't, and they, maybe they are. Maybe authorities are going through any scientists and stuff like that, that everything just has to be scientific footage that gets brought back, so forth. Nobody can bring any personal photos back. Who knows? So if that's the case, and this is actually what maybe has been one of the objects up there that's been giving us that dark shadow and so forth, and that's what's up there, that's very interesting. Now, but what you can do is you can take snapshots of what this footage that comes through here real fast, and then I'll try to sneak this up a little bit, okay? He's going to have a more, or whoever, male, female, doesn't matter. And you see, and then the idea that when you're looking at this, it's the idea that, well, hey, it's not bobbing around and stuff like that, but is he bobbing around in the cold trying to take the shot and not get caught taking the shot, okay? And then this looks kind of fakeish, bakeish, but then you get the one that there's another video, and let's just speed it up. See, so he's trying to make it, I mean, anybody could propagate anything to make it look like that it's something that's down there, okay, you know? And you could go out to a riverbed or a lake bed anywhere in the United States and try to fake out something, but it kind of looks, you just got to go. And basically, I'll, uh, I mean, you can get up, and I'll put, the, I, I'll put the name of the video. I don't really put the link, so the idea that you'll end up finding whatever the recent cake bake and stuff like that is. So this could be true. We'll have to wait and see. But it kind of looks somewhat fakeish. And then let's go on another one. And just remember, I just stay with what we find on the webcams and so forth. Now, if someone would give us a lot more steadier shot, and then if someone did do a good job of getting this out, you see, but then they try to group it as cake bake bullshit, you know, power, money, control, that the idea that this isn't really fake or this is real. So you, you just got to make up for your mind, and, and I'll put the title. And we're getting pretty close to cross-phasing again. Bonk. Bonk. Okay. Just throw a little of the sun data in there, and then, then we get this shot, which basically this looks like someone's played with the moon, some shots of the moon. But then again, if this is another moon now, uh, I'm going to try to see if we can freeze it. Okay. Now this is pretty realistic looking because it's pretty damn steady and everything like that. And now is this, let me put it back just a little bit. So we are getting them trying to either that or it is factual and we have a, now is it Oricus? Okay, because Orca, it's large and it's a somewhat, uh, I think bigger than the moon. Uh, supposed to be coming back now. I didn't put that date and time on there. That might be imposed on this video that we got. And I'll give the name of this one too. Now, 
what you need to do is watch this and end up seeing this, which would look like rollers, like something that's run into planets, you know, and bounce and hit and roll off away and then go through orbiting space and its normal orbit pattern. And then and there's bumpers, and we know that there is craters in the Earth, and we know that we have something that's out there in Earth. Now, whenever anything has ever hit Earth before, has it just stopped? Now, you see, and then the idea that people might be trying to always... Okay, so this is what they're saying, okay? So I don't even have to say anything more. So now if someone is cake baking and faking, so you, what you need to do is watch this, freeze frame it, and so forth and so 